Today's video is about the $80 version of the Vapor that that one guy on your team will buy and insist to everyone that it's the expensive model even though everyone knows that they're not. What's going on guys, Josh from Soccer Reviews for you.com, bringing you my review plus on feet video of what will inevitably be the most popular variation of this new generation of Mercurial, the Nike Mercurial Vapor 13 Academy, the second tier takedown model in the Mercurial Vapor side of the lineup, bearing a retail price of $80. And the main reason why the $80 Mercurial is always really popular is because one, people really like Mercurials, and two, they tend to look quite good for the money, and I guess three, they're also inexpensive expensive the question is are they actually worth the $80 price tag because there are actually a lot of great takedown models from Nike not in the Mercurial line at this particular price point. So should you buy the Vapor Academy or should you buy something else? That question along with all the other details will be answered in today's video, including how they fit and feel on feet. So if you're interested in learning more, please stick around and watch the entire review. And if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself in this colorway or the under the radar blackout ones, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen or you can click the first link down below. That's gonna take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. You'll be able to pick these up below the normal $80 retail price. If you guys do end up enjoying this video and would like to see other takedown models reviewed on the channel, don't forget to support this one with a like and let me know specifically what you wanna see down below in the comment section. Also, if you're new here watching for the first time and don't wanna miss out on daily content from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. So included with the boots is a box. That's it, there's no string bag. You bought the cheap ones. So we'll start with the upper, and while this has nothing to do with performance, I just wanted to point out that the new graphics make this boot look a lot more premium in comparison to what we had before. I mean, those just look cheap. These, however, do not. What is interesting, though, about the upper this time around is not that it's different because it's almost exactly the same as what we had before, but it is now your first option in the mercurial range, whether you go Vapor or Superfly, to feature a synthetic upper because obviously the Elite model features a fly knit upper and you don't have a knitted upper with the Pro Series as well. Basically all they've changed in comparison to the Vapor 12 Academy with the upper is some minor texturing detail on the surface that you're really not going to notice on the ball at all. And maybe it's just in my head, but the upper feels slightly softer but the thickness is the same, the material is technically the exact same synthetic, and it has the same padded liner on the inside. So while the upper is thin overall, it's certainly not as thin as the models above it, and it doesn't provide what I would personally consider to be a true barefoot experience. However, it's decently soft, it's not uncomfortable on your feet in any way, and the touch is decent, but that's about as complimentary as I can get. I should also mention that they don't have ACC, although I don't have any proof of that, because it's invisible. Despite not having an knitted upper, they still feature a one-piece design, where you can see that you do have a dual lace hole system running directly down the middle, as it does on all Mercurials, and there is also a tongue, but the tongue is not free floating, at least for the bottom part, as well as the midfoot section, where the tongue is basically stitched to either side of the upper, so it's not gonna move around, giving you that one piece enclosure uh, through that part of the foot. And then as you get closer to the top, it does detach on either side, just to allow the opening to get a little bit bigger for ease of putting the boots on and taking them off. Either way, it gets the job done. And the material they've used for the tongue actually feels pretty decent, so no complaints there. This is, of course, the Vapor 13 Academy, and the Vapor side is all about being low cut, and that is basically what you're getting here. It is a pretty standard low cut construction, again, almost identical to what we had on the previous generation, with an internal plastic heel counter, a low cut design, as well as a synthetic leather liner with some perforations throughout and some really decent padding. And you can't tell me that this doesn't look a hundred million times better than the stupid looking collar on the Superfly 7 Academy. They're exactly the same price, but based on the design fit and certainly the look through the heel area, I would definitely buy the Vapor over the Superfly at the Academy tier. The insole is fully removable and features a nice mesh lining on the surface, and it's made from a single layer of this gray foam, Pretty much a standard insole, but it's nice that it is removable. Moving to the base, this is where you're going to find the more significant design changes that I would say are actually for the better. It does have a split sole construction, but there is still a standard sole plate that runs from heel to toe, although it is not anatomically shaped as you'll find on the Pro and Elite tier models. Of course, you do have stud plates as well because of the split sole construction, one stud plate in the heel and one stud plate in the forefoot. That forefoot stud plate 
technically featuring the aero track system that is supposed to allow for more progressive stiffness although honestly it's not particularly noticeable on the academy it pretty much feels like a regular sole plate although i will say that it's not awkwardly stiff in any way which is a good thing because sometimes takedown models at this price point are awkwardly stiff for some reason then there's the stud pattern which is exclusive to the academy tier and i honestly wish they would incorporate this stud pattern or make it available on the more expensive models. This is what they call FGMG, FG standing for firm ground, MG standing for multi-ground. They could have just went with multi-ground, but they didn't for some reason. Either way, this is basically their interpretation of an FGAG stud pattern that we're getting from pretty much all the other brands. And at the lower price points, it does make sense. If you wanna buy a cheap pair of boots that you can use on natural and artificial playing surfaces, this is exactly what these are designed for. So you're gonna find basically the standard mercurial layout, but instead of all bladed studs, which you still maintain at the tip of the toe um, for very aggressive grip when pushing off, you have these kind of half circle shaped studs that are gonna allow for a little bit more release in the traction when your foot is planted, especially when you're on artificial grass. So technically not as aggressive as the true FG stud pattern, but again, for use on artificial grass, this is actually really, really good, um, especially if you are on a budget. And something else that I really like is they actually extended the toe here at the front, just that little lip to again, increase the durability. When it comes to weight, as you might expect, the Academy tier model is not as light as the models above. Of it in a size 9.5 us the vapor 13 academy weighs in at 7.6 ounces the equivalent of 216 grams which is about 0.5 ounces more than the pro and about 0.7 ounces more than the elite to be expected but not really a significant weight difference will you notice that they're heavier yes are they heavy though no i think at this price point seven and a half ounces is actually quite light now we all know this will be the most popular colorway of the mercurial for this generation everyone is going to have them so i've swapped out the stock blue laces for some white reflective sr4u replacement laces that look quite nice because it accents perfectly with all the white details you have throughout the boots it makes your boots different from everyone else with the same pair so if you're looking to change up the style of your boots in a very inexpensive way the website to visit is www.sr4ulaces.com Com. There'll be a little pop-up on screen as well as a link down below in the description. So if you're interested in some for yourself, be sure to go ahead and check that out. On feet, the Vapor 13 Academy feels pretty good. They're definitely not uncomfortable. The upper has a nice soft feel to it, even though the synthetic isn't particularly premium. Although the one thing you will notice in comparison to the models above it, the Pro or Elite tier Mercurials, is that this just definitely has a wider, higher volume fit. It's made to fit as many people as possible, as comfortably as possible. So it doesn't necessarily have that kind of true Mercurial sensation in that regard, which a lot of people would argue is a major downside of the Academy tier boots. But I still think you're getting that general Mercurial sense, even though it doesn't fit quite as tight. Width wise, like I said, they're not as narrow or not as tight fitting, I should say, as the higher end models. So I do think they will fit most people as long as you don't have super wide feet. Don't expect this upper to stretch too much. And as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing these in my usual size 9.5 US and the fit and the length is perfect. So if you're looking to order a pair for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size. So in conclusion, I can actually recommend the Vapor 13 Academy. It's a slight improvement over the model that replaces, but to be honest with you guys, I still think it ranks as the third best takedown model at this price point from the Nike brand. I think the number one option, especially if you're after something with a synthetic upper, is the Nike Phantom Venom Academy with its Nike skin upper. While this feels pretty good, that just feels that much better to me. And overall, I just think it's a really great pair of boots for 80 bucks. Second place, I would put the Tiempo Legend 8 Academy, which actually retails for $70. Granted, that has a leather upper. Leather always feels good, even if it's not the softest, most premium leather that you can buy, but obviously that costs a lot more money. At 70 bucks, I think that Tiempo takedown model is really solid. But again, in third place, I think if you're a fan of Mercurial, this has a lot of Mercurial elements that you won't get from those other two that I mentioned. Obviously, it has the look as well. I think if you can justify the $80 price tag, you're not going to be unhappy with the boots. Anyways, guys, that's it for my review. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Again, if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, you can click the first link down below. That's going to take you to the review page on my website, where you'll find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. Where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal $80 retail price. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below in the comment section, and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as 
as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.